Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create these two simple and professional lower thirds in Adobe Premiere Pro. Right, the first thing I would do in Premiere Pro is to hit T for the text tool and create text anywhere around the program monitor. I'm going to write down lower thirds as a the first text and then I'm going to press enter and write Premiere Pro. After that, I will highlight Premiere Pro, go to the effect control panel and open the text settings. From there, I'm going to change the text style from light to bold and also so I'm gonna align the text in the center by clicking on this little icon. Then I will slightly increase the size of the text and place it at the left bottom corner. Next, I'll select the pen tool and create a diagonal line on the left hand side of the text, which will be a bit bigger than the size of the text. Then I'll go to the effect control panel, open the line properties, deselect the fill and leave the stroke effects. Make the stroke around 20% and I'll change the color from white to yellowish. Then I'm going to move the cursor to the beginning of the video and move back to the effect control panel. I'll create keyframe on position and drag the line all the way to the left until it disappears. Then I'm going to move 10 frames forward and drag the line back onto the program monitor. Next, I'll go back to text and create a rectangle mask by clicking on this icon and adjust it with the line angle. Then I'll scroll down to text position, leave the cursor as it is and create our first keyframe by dragging the text all the way to the left so it can get into the mask we have created earlier. Then I'm going to move a few frames forward and drag the text back onto the program monitor but as you can see, now it's not visible. That is because I haven't ticked on the inverted option. And now when I tick it on, you can see that the text now appears on the screen. And in terms to create the outro for the text, I'll copy the second keyframes by pressing Ctrl and C. Then I'm gonna move a few frames forward and Ctrl and V. After that, I'm gonna do exactly the same with the first keyframe. And when I play it, you can see that now we've got outro for the text. Then I'm going to move back to the shape line and do exactly the same that I did with the text outro. I'm going to copy the first and the second keyframes, move your frame forwards until the text has already disappeared and paste them. So when I played from the beginning, we've got already nice lower third animation, but we can always make it better. I will select the middle keyframes right button of the mouse and ease in. Then I'm going to select the last and the first keyframe and is out. Then I'll select the text and do exactly the same. I'll select the middle keyframes, right button of the mouse, temporal interpolation and ease in. The last and the first keyframe, temporal interpolation and he's out. But of course that's not enough and I'm gonna add some Gaussian blur for this blurry effect and to do this I'm gonna go to effects, type down Gaussian blur, apply it to the shape layer and go up to the effect control panel. Then I'll match the Gaussian Blur keyframes with the shape line keyframes. And the first keyframe will be 50%. Then the second keyframe will be 0%. Moving to the third keyframe, which is going to be 0% as well. And going to the last keyframe, again, will be 50% blurriness. And when I play it, we've got this nice blurry effect. Moving to lower third number two, I will create a rectangle over the text by using the rectangle tool. Going to effect control panel, I will select the fill and increase the stroke up to 15 and also change the color from yellow to white. After that, I'm going to move the text above the rectangle and adjust it in the middle. I'll go back to effect control panel, move down to opacity and create a keyframe with 0% value. Move 10 frames forward and create a second keyframe with 100% value. After that, I'm going to move the cursor somewhere at the end of the video, copy the second keyframe and paste it. Then I'm going to copy the first keyframe, move a few frames forward and paste it again. And when I play it now, I think it's a little bit too fast. That's why I'm going to select the last keyframe and move it a few frames forward. And then I'm going to select the second keyframe and do exactly the same. And now I think it looks much better. And again, I'm going to use the same Gaussian blur effect that I used for the first example. And like that, you can create easy and awesome lower thirds in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed and if you did so, please hit that like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.